Today, we are going to talk about procrastination. Many people fall into the trap of procrastination. And while you may feel comforted learning you are not alone, this habit may be costing you a lot more than you are willing to acknowledge. Chronic procrastinators find themselves falling behind tasks even when they have a deadline looming and end up panicking. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about issues relating to mental health, self-improvement, general medical problems, and the journey to overall wellness. We put out weekly videos on these topics, and our content is based on scientific research and our experience as physicians practicing both Western and Eastern medicine. If this is something that appeals to you, be sure to like this video and stick till the very end to see if this is something you want to subscribe to. Without further ado, let's head straight into the main topic of today's video, 12 practical steps that can help you break away from procrastination forever. Step one, divide your work. As much as we hate to admit it, the real reason behind procrastination is the overwhelming feeling we have toward particular tasks. By splitting the tasks into smaller parts, it becomes easier to focus on one part at a time. You learn that the job was not so difficult after all, and soon you've completed the tasks on your own to-do list. If you are afraid of still procrastinating after breaking down tasks, go ahead and split them even further. Tasks are more manageable when you can focus on one phase at a time and give it your best. You don't have to be anxious about the next part. Do this as well as you can and treat every task with a similar focus. Step two, try a new environment. If you can't get things done when you're in a particular place, it might be time to change your environment. Our environments have a huge impact on our level of productivity, and this is why having a dedicated space for work is important. Changing your environment doesn't have to involve major modifications, like moving to a new neighborhood. Look around your space and see if you find it motivating enough. Does being there make you want to get things done? If not, how about making some little changes? It is normal to no longer feel inspired in a place where you formerly felt the most alive. Be open to change. Maybe your space has become noisier than it used to be. Then it is time to find a quiet space that allows you to take action. Step 3. Attach timelines to tasks. Leaving your task completion in the hands of fate is the easiest way to invite procrastination into your life. You keep unconsciously thinking that you have all the time and delay everything until it is too late. After splitting your project into smaller parts, you need to create a timeline and assign deadlines to each little task. By doing this, you prep your brain to finish certain tasks on particular dates. Be realistic when setting a timeline and keep in mind that not meeting the deadline for one task affects the commencement of the next. You can spread tasks across a week, month, or day. It all depends on your goal. Just make sure your timeline doesn't cause you to feel overwhelmed. Step four, make fewer decisions. Making decisions requires energy. So the higher the number of decisions you have to make, the less time you have to execute plans. You can reduce the number of decisions you make daily by making plans ahead and deciding on things quickly. This should not translate to being rigid. It just helps you spend less energy thinking about several things and taking zero actions on any. Procrastination thrives in the absence of self-control, and controlling oneself can be hard when tiredness and anxiety are in the picture. Make decisions ahead of time to increase your effectiveness and save energy to get work done. Step five, begin with easier tasks. Sometimes the best way to beat procrastination is by not fighting it at all. What happens when you procrastinate is that you begin a task and soon you either get distracted or less motivated to finish it. In other cases, you never begin the task at all because thinking about it makes you anxious. If this sounds like your procrastination pattern, it is time to start using it to your advantage. Begin with the easiest but most important task, even if you feel you cannot handle it all immediately. This sounds like procrastination in disguise, but by putting some tasks away, you can tick off others on your list. Soon, 
you will feel the pressure to do the rest of the task. And because you have handled some of the important things already, getting these done too becomes easy. Step 6. Keep your goals realistic. There is nothing wrong with dreaming beyond your reality, but in doing this, avoid unrealistic expectations. Life comes with its setbacks all the time, and by allowing haste to drive you, you open yourself up to disappointments. Disappointments often precede procrastination, or even worse, the desire to give up. You may find yourself struggling with procrastination if you start out too eager to bypass the process and things get tough. You realize that things are harder than you thought and begin to procrastinate. Self-doubt and procrastination are intertwined, and this is why you must avoid having expectations that make you begin to question your worth. Always remember that worthwhile success takes time. So enjoy the process rather than being too focused on the outcome. Dream as big as you want, but break your goals into tiny steps that make you want to take action. Step 7. Shun Perfectionism The desire to get things done perfectly may be holding you back from achieving great success. Perfectionism can be dangerous because it breeds negative thoughts that stop you from taking action. Having an all-or-nothing mindset might even seem like being ambitious, when in fact, it prevents you from acting. If you always choose perfection over beginning right where you are, you are bound to procrastinate because you are thinking, it is all or nothing. Perfectionism sometimes looks like minimization or labeling tasks as unimportant and therefore putting them away. Sometimes, it is the lack of satisfaction in your results that makes you decide to withdraw effort. This is a toxic way to approach your goals, and the earlier you do away with the need to be perfect, the sooner you get rid of procrastination. Step 8. Get more energy. You are more likely to procrastinate when your energy levels are low. This lack of energy is often the result of overworking yourself, but could also be caused by practicing an unhealthy lifestyle. Your diet and level of physical activity affect productivity. So by making small changes in these areas, you can defeat procrastination. Consider improving your lifestyle by getting more sleep, eating nutritious meals, and exercising as much as you can. These may seem like little steps, but over time, they add up and make you a new person. As part of a healthy lifestyle, avoid unhealthy addictions like too much screen time and oversleeping. These lead to procrastination and ruin your productivity. Step 9. Overcome fear. Fighting fears goes in two ways. The first involves overcoming your fear of failure, while the other side of it is overcoming your fear of success. People procrastinate because they are afraid of failing or succeeding at their goals. You must understand that failure is a vital part of success, where success involves progressing from different kinds of failures without giving up. You should be willing to learn from failure rather than let it prevent you from taking steps towards your dream. Allow yourself to witness the hurt from failure if you must, but refuse it from paralyzing you. Success comes with what some may consider burdens like fame and excessive attention, and this can be intimidating. If you hold on to the negative mindset that you are not deserving of success, you will keep self-sabotaging, which includes procrastinating. Fight fear by taking on more challenges and practicing positive affirmations. Step 10. Find a motivation companion. You can stop procrastinating by being accountable to someone else. Having a companion to help you through the process makes it enjoyable and less difficult than it appears. Choose someone who has goals of their own so the relationship can be a mutual one, where you help each other win. Your goals do not have to be the same, but if you can find one, being accountable to someone who has successfully triumphed over procrastination is the best. Connect with these kinds of people because by doing this, you see that your goal is achievable and this drives you into action. Step 11. Take a break. Beating procrastination takes some time, so don't be too hard on yourself if you are falling back occasionally. It requires hard work to leave the habit 
and it is only human to make a few mistakes along the way. Take a break when you start to lose motivation, because the truth is, conquering procrastination is the most difficult when you are overwhelmed or stressed. Don't feel guilty about taking a short break to reduce fatigue. This practice helps keep your mind sharp, and there cannot be room for procrastination in an agile mind. Step 12. Consider an identity shift. Laziness is one major cause of procrastination that people tend to shy away from or hide under other excuses. To improve your life, you need to hold honest conversations with yourself, one of which should be about your identity. Decide within yourself to make an identity shift if you acknowledge that you struggle with laziness. Fighting laziness first begins with seeing yourself from a new perspective. See yourself as a productive person, then take action to support the new belief. Visualize the results that come with hard work and do your best to bring these visions alive. Carry out tasks immediately rather than scheduling them for later. And soon, your new identity truly becomes yours. You can carry out all these steps mentioned only if you understand why you are procrastinating. One way to figure this out is to notice your patterns so you find situations where you avoid tasks. To beat procrastination, you have to recognize that it's a habit you practice and identify why you do it. Only then can you come up with strategies to overcome it. Learn good organization, reject fear, and practice making better decisions. These are actions that will go a long way in helping you maximize your potential. Hopefully, you can pick one step to practice today and do so right now to avoid procrastination. So, what was your favorite tip from today's video? Sound off in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you found this information helpful, we're sure you'll enjoy this other video from our channel too. Until next time, we wish you a happy and healthy day.